children are not criminals. In the Philippines, roughly 28 children get arrested every day. These children, ages 15 to 18 years old, who have committed offenses are called as the children in conflict with the law. They are housed in a detention facility and a rehabilitation center where they are being empowered and um, rehabilitated. In 2016, I get to work with a rehabilitation center. It is because of a humanitarian organization that um, chose our school to be their partner in doing programs for these rehabilitation centers. At first, I was afraid and hesitant to volunteer in this kind of institution because children in conflict with the law are often portrayed to be frightening or threatening. However, when I entered the rehabilitation center for the first time, instead of feeling frightened and afraid, I was sad and frightened, or I was sad and um, disappointed of their situation inside the center. I saw unaddressed problems like unsanitary installations, lack of basic needs, including mental and emotional needs, and also basic um, interventions for these children in conflict with the law. Because of these problems, these hindered the rehabilitation center of the children in conflict with the law, which eventually um, uh, could have an impact in our society where criminal rates are rampant and where violence persists over peace. And as a scout, I said to myself, I have to do something. Me and my scout group was motivated to conduct a holistic development program for these children in conflict with the law in creating um, new opportunities for these young offenders in the Philippines and in bringing scout activities inside these rehabilitation centers. Mainly, my program aims to transform these lawbreakers into peacemakers. My program was divided into five different areas, namely spiritual, psychological, arts and culture, environmental, and also skills training. In the skills training, we conducted a Boy Scout Auxiliary Brigade, wherein we created a Scout Auxiliary Unit inside the rehabilitation center composed of young offenders. One boy, let's call him in the name of John, who is always actively participating and engaging in all our scouting activities, and now, John has been released to the center and is now studying with scholarship. Throughout the course, I saw these children explode in laughter. I saw how their eyes light up when they talk about things they want and the persons they want to become. And being able to replicate these, or being able to replicate my program throughout the rehabilitation centers in the Philippines is such a great, is such a big. Um, responsibility and honor for me. Seeing these young offenders transform into a leaders of their own community is such a fulfilling and a satisf uh, and it's very good uh, mission for me. I, be I firmly believe that these children are only victims of circumstances like poverty, unhealthy environment, peer pressure, and parental neglect. These circumstances, especially poverty, are the triggering factors why these children commit crimes. They have no food to eat, no family to go to, and no homes to stay to. Sometimes their only option is to steal food, food for them to eat, and food for them to survive. These children in conflict with the law deserve second chances. Second chances not just to make things right, but to prove that they could be better even after they fall. And I think it is through scouting that we could give them the best second chances they deserve. A jail is a no place for a child because children are not criminals. Thank you and good evening.